All right, thought I'd do an update on a couple things, uh, see if I can focus on these guys. These are the five of the albino koi fry. They're doing very well. Uh, I had, I think, three or four sliders that I kind of removed and got rid of. And these are the five that are doing pretty well. Hopefully I get at least one male out of this. A little too soon to tell. Uh, all I need, really need is one. Uh, because the other male that came with the trio is just not really going to be able to do anything. So, anyway, I thought I'd show them. Uh, a lot of my videos, if I get any done in the next couple days, uh, the water's going to be dirty. You're going to have to kind of bear with me. Uh, some strange stuff going on here in Philadelphia. I'll try to get through it here. Here's... Uh, the other, the female, try and get a clean spot here. Uh, she's not really filling up that I can tell. Uh, the male's still in there. He's pretty much useless. So, uh, I'm just going to have to hope that either this one here or one of the other five end up being a male. So, we'll see. And nothing yet with the... Uh, uh, with the platinum red mosaic big ears, you can see his pec fins are huge. Uh, the females look, one of them looks like she's filling up wherever she is. Not that one. Wherever the other one is. Alright, she's in there, so there she goes. That one's filling up, so I should get some fry soon. And, uh, and we'll see. Uh, there's a bunch of fry in here from the, uh, uh it was. See, it's going to be tough for me to remember. It's a cross of the Snow White Albino and Yellow Deltas. And uh, we'll see what the fry end up being. I've got to take the adults out very shortly. Uh, just waiting for one more female to drop fry. What do you call friends that you like to eat with? Taste buds! Taste buds, that's terrible. All right, let me so show some other stuff. I'll be right back. All right, I haven't shown this before. Uh, this was the uh, cross I made of... Uh, uh, let's see. It was a yellow delta male to uh, pingu females. And uh, this is what I ended up with. Uh, some of it's not promising at all. But I believe I see some bronze on some of the females like this one. So we'll see what they end up developing into. I did separate some better looking males. That's a, obviously a younger male. He may end up being something. But the problem I'm having, if I can focus on his tail, is the tail edge is not filling in completely. Uh, Sometimes you would think maybe the females are nipping the center of the tail out, but that's not the case. So uh, it's just not developing right. Now that could change in the next generation. Uh, very common with a cross that the first generation is junk and the second generation, third generation ends up being pretty nice fish. So a couple of distinct uh, different females in there. You can see them right there. And let me move on to uh, the better looking ones. And I started to say uh, that I'm gonna have some dirty tanks for a little while. Uh, the city of Philadelphia's water supply uh, was tainted with some contaminated uh, water, some chemicals from a chemical plant in a suburb dumped uh, chemicals into the the Delaware River, which feeds into the reservoirs of the city's water supply. So they've sent warnings that the water is safe as of right now, but it won't be as of tomorrow. So I'm afraid to do water changes just in case they miscalculated. I don't want to end up with uh, dead fish and I don't want to end up dead either. So I have plenty of filtered water uh, set aside. I have a couple of uh, 
24 ounce packages of uh, pint uh, water and uh, what else do I have a couple of pitchers of filtered water as well in the fridge and I also have three five gallon uh, buckets full of treated water in case I have to do some emergency water changes so everything's kind of set to get through the next couple of days so as of now they're saying the water is safe up until 3 30 on tuesday so i really need to do a lot of water changes so i'm just going to try to feed the fish a little bit less and hope that i, don't, I can get by without doing the water changes so all right let me show the ones that showed some promise uh, now what did seem to happen is I believe more pink came out let me see if I can steady this and that would obviously be from the the pingu end of things so this is promising I have a few different colors going on there and these have the best tails of the group of males and I put them in with some nicer females uh, they'll be in a five and a half. They're not going to stay in this small photo tank. Although they probably will for tonight because I'm going to go to sleep after this is over. Anyway, a very promising. I believe this is some pink coming through at the end of the body, back of the body. Uh, not the greatest yellow coloration. So I won't be able to use these to improve my yellows. And But this is interesting. And definitely, uh, you can see they took on the characteristics, fin-wise, of the yellow deltas with an improvement in the dorsal, which there in itself is kind of weird because the yellow deltas don't get the longest dorsals for me. Let's see if this guy, we can focus on him so you can actually see him. Anyway, these are pretty cool. Definitely something different. I haven't really seen anything like this before, but I'm sure they're out there. Uh, they could end up developing into pink whites if I continue to go brother to sister, which I'm going to do with this group. So we'll see. So it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's a work in progress. They're kind of cool looking. And uh, man, my old girlfriend kicked me out of the house because she... Uh, got tired of my South American animal puns so I said okay I'll pack up my bags I'll pack up my bags oh, that's terrible that's bad all right and this is a trio of yellow deltas uh, you can see they have some similar uh, reddish areas the male I mean Let's see if we can get him to turn to the side uh, the tail and dorsal on this guy is not the greatest but it's got a nice spread and a dorsal yeah, is half decent and they're eating some live baby brine shrimp yeah, there's another female in there somewhere so they'll be in their own five and a half as of tomorrow and I just have one other one one other tank I wanted to show it's a promising male yellow Delta and I think I put four females in so I'll be right back with that. All right, before I get to the uh, yellow uh, breeders, I just wanted to show these. Uh, they were in the last video, but I uh, couldn't really see them as well because they were hiding up in the thin leaf water sprite. Uh, I think you can see that the red Moscow is really getting a nice color and uh, nice fins. Cool looking fish. And they have just had some fries, so going to have to get them out. So that's that, and uh, you can see I really, I really did get the red in the males cleaned up. There's very little black in there, but there's still some, like with that one. But nice fish, and these are still the tiger king cobras. And let me move along here. These are some more of the red moscows. <clears throat> and down here is. Uh, some black pandas so there's also a few fry in there and these are the f black pastels they were all in the, the last video but be, 
because I didn't feed them the live baby brine shrimp like they're eating now, they really couldn't see them. So let me get, to, well, my lights are going out there. Get to the uh, yellows and wrap up the video. <clears throat> See if we can focus on them. Now this male has a crappy tail edge and a dorsal. It's not great and I think it may have stripes similar to a uh, what used to be called a parish dorsal uh, which was after a breeder who kind of developed them with a stripe kind of various stripes in the dorsal but the tail edge is crappy but the color on the fish is great the width of the delta tail and the length is excellent so that's why he's in there as a breeder so and there's this yellow female is really really bright yellow now she just had fry yesterday uh, you can see the difference uh, between her color and the other females definitely yellow the others are just like a light yellow so I put the male in with four females and this female had some fry yesterday I got four of them out and they were really going after the fry looks like there's one more at the top and I have to try to get him out before I turn the lights out because he won't last they like to eat their fry I don't know what the deal is with them I keep them well fed and that's a young male I put in in case this male crops out but it's a beautiful fish the tail edge stinks and the dorsal needs work but that's what I'm doing I'm working on that so yeah, all right that'll wrap up the video and like I said I'm gonna have to deal with some cloudy water until the Philadelphia water department just gets the water supply straightened out and gets the chemicals out of it that shouldn't be in there. Very, very disappointing. So, and these are just some Snow White albinos. And I'll have a couple of trios of these for sale. And you can see in the back there's a couple of males. So, nice fish. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll have another video up hopefully in a couple of days. And with more dirty tanks. All right. Bye.